Next question is from Chris DJ. If you had one hour with a high school gym class in a weight room, what would you do with them? Mm. This is a challenging one because I was I saw this up there and I was already kind of thinking about it. Like, what would I do? I know what I would do, but the the problem with what I would do is I don't know how well this would do in a high school class. Um, so disconnected from that age group, and I don't know the intention span. Like in my this is what I, if I was like a, a, a high school gym teacher. Like I would love to be like you know all month long we're talking yeah. the squat. I know. All I was things- just thinking one exercise. Yes. yes. Maybe two max. Right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Like all month it would be like this month is the squat, and so we would learn the squat. We would practice the skill. I would show the difference between students and what's going on with each one. Like oh he's he's limited here because of his ankle mobility. Oh she's limited here because of her hip mobility, and like pointing out all these things and teaching them. Like you could teach the squat. Obviously you teach the squat for a whole year, mm-hmm. and, but I mean I would I would focus on. A, a movement, especially the big compound lifts, right? So for mm-hmm. the first five or six months, I'm going through, you know, squat month, next month after that, deadlift month, you know, overhead, overhead press, press month, press, yeah. right? And and then trying to break down all the things that are important to, you know, to getting better at it. Now, geez, I don't know how many kids would love like, hey, guess what we're doing today again? <laughs> Squatting with Mr. Schaefer, you know what I'm saying? Hyper-focus, <laughs> yeah. Like, fucking like that exciting. Yeah, yeah. but I, I mean- want CrossFit, what's going on here? Right, in a perfect world, though, I mean, at that age, those kids are really starting to starting to figure out that working out's important. Most of them don't have very good mechanics. Um, so I think what they would benefit the most from would be taking a, a s- I, single exercise. You'd in. have to yeah. change, you'd have to completely change their focus, right? Because- in high school, when you're lifting weights, especially when it's a bunch of guys lifting weights, it quickly becomes yeah, who's, who's stronger. Yeah, who's mm. the strongest to see who can lift the most weight, right? That's what you value the most. So you have to really sell hard uh, and make the case that it's about technique, practice, and form, and practice these exercises. And we're going to use weight that is, you know, that's light. And we're going to do today. We're going to do, you know, three exercises, and we're going to practice these until we get really, really good. You have to sell the shit out of that because naturally you just want to see who's the strongest. It's interesting that somebody brought this, I don't know who brought this question today, but um, you know, I someone, a good old client of mine who I used to train for many years uh, is a high school teacher at one of the lo- local high schools. And she's actually, they put together a whole presentation that I guess they used our, a uh, bunch of our YouTube videos to all the gym classes. So I think a couple hundred students uh, were, was watching Mind Pump TV on, uh, I don't even remember which ones they were using, but I saw that she'd shared it with me. And I said, you know, let me know um, when would be a good time. I said, you know, maybe we can get down there and talk. And I'd really like to start to make our way into high school. So this question makes me try and think of like how we would go in there. And I think that's what we would do, Sal, is I think we would go in and really make the case. That's it. Sell that. Sell the idea of why good mechanics and not just being, you know, being able to lift a lot of weight is, is more important. And then, and try and challenge the kids to not only get stronger, but also work on improve the, improving the movement itself. Mm-hmm. And I think how kids would be receptive to it. I mean, I was in a, they had a weight training specific class that wasn't like an elective that I took in high school. And, uh, you know, on top of already doing like team workouts and things um, where they kind of got a little bit into the mechanics of it, but it was very like all over the place. Like I would have loved to have very specific, you know, cues and techniques, you know, revolving around just a squat or just an overhead press so I could master those things. And you could you could really dive into posture. You could dive into like why, you know, there's discrepancies and in, in how to address those things as you go through the process. Yeah, those, those are the two exercises that I'd really love to yes. focus on, the squat and the overhead press. I right. think those Especially are probably, your kids, yeah. Absolutely. Just the bit mechanics and the form. And then slowly getting them better. And because at that age, just practicing, actually, this is at any age, but especially at that age, just practicing form and technique and getting better at it, you're going to get stronger. You're going to get a lot stronger. A lot of the reason why a 24 year old is so much stronger than a, than a 17 year old isn't because a 24 year old is bigger. Um, a lot of it's just they have more control over their body. Yeah, more so time under you, the belt. And that's another one. You, you could, that's maybe one of the ways you could sell it to the kids and say, look, you're. 15, 16 years old, trust me, you have way more strength than you know you do. You just don't have know how to access it because you don't have the control over it. Uh, just like a dog when it's a puppy and it, it's, you know, it, it, a year and a half old, it's as big as it's going to be, but it's all clumsy and it moves. That's that's you guys. You guys are a bunch of clumsy pups, puppies, and I'm going to teach you guys how to move better 
and really learn how to harness your strength so you can have that old man strength like your dad. That's why yeah. your dad beats you up and you know when he wrestles <laughs> with you all the time. Yeah. You know, you have to kind of sell that to the kids so they kind of get it because otherwise they don't value. I didn't value that at all. When I was in high school lifting weights, I don't give a shit, man. Yeah. As long as I there's a couple parameters. Did it touch your chest? Yeah. Did you get the bar up? Cool. You did the lift. You're yeah. the strongest. If I can bench more than you, I'm winning. That's all it. Right. All right. 